What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, many people are pushing a notion and a narrative that former unified three belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, now junior middleweight title contender, but is yet to make his debut in the junior middleweight division in Earl the Truth Spence Jr., who has 28 wins, one loss, no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout, 34 years of age, 5 foot 9 with a 72 inch arm each. Errol Spence's career is over. Errol Spence will never come back to the square circle. And many people are speculating this is due to the fact that Errol Spence is still not living a fighter's lifestyle. After suffering a horrific car accident in 2019, being out the ring for 14 months, coming back, fighting two division world champion, Puerto Rican superstar boxer, Danny Swift Garcia, then suffering a major eye injury, a torn or the broken retina that had to be repaired. Then he suffered another eye injury. And Errol Spence's body has been through a lot of trauma. So many people are speculating that after his mega showdown in July of 2023, that was highly anticipated fight for over a decade. I think this is a decade of anticipation between himself and Terrence Bud Crawford, the now pound for pound number one king who's been that for quite some time and is now four division world champion, two division undisputed champion, and is the reigning WBA junior middleweight champion. With that said, they finally fought in July and Terrence Bud Crawford absolutely dominated Errol Spence, dropping him three times and stopping him. And with that said, we haven't seen Errol Spence since. Now, we only seen Terrence Crawford once since that time, which was August of this year, August 3rd, in his debut against Israel Majima for the WBA junior middleweight title. But we haven't seen Errol Spence. A lot of speculation, a lot of different reports and the anticipation whether he's coming back. And I'm here to tell you guys, it's not about Errol Spence's physical health. It's not about Errol Spence not wanting to get back in the ring. It's not about Errol Spence not living a fighter's lifestyle. It's about the fact that Errol Spence is being held out because the finances is simply not there right now to make a fight with the fight that everybody knows is going to come to fruition. And that's a fight between himself and the towering inferno, Sebastian Fundora, who has 21 wins, one loss, one draw, and 13 wins by way of knockout. Sebastian Fondora shocked the world March 30th of this year when he took on Australian superstar boxer and former WBO world champion Tim Zhu, the son of a legend, Kasa Zhu, and he won the fight. And after that, when he beat Tim Zhu, he became the WBC WBO junior middleweight champion and Errol Spence got in the ring and they started promoting a fight that looked like it was going to be in October. But politics, because Terrence Bud Crawford is the WBO mandatory challenger and president, former president, Mr. Paco ordered this fight. Now the WBO still upheld this. And Terrence Crawford is due his opportunity, although he's the WBA champion. But with that said, they have now decided that they wanted to focus on Errol Spence's fight, that being Fundora and his team, Samson Likowick. And we have gotten no indications of when it's actually going to happen. Fundora was trying to strategically maneuver around fighting Terrence Crawford, which he successfully did. And now the fight with Errol Spence. And now it's being talked about that Errol Spence-Fondora could be in March. 
which means Errol Spence would have been out the ring for 20 months, almost two years, and Sebastian Fundora would have been out the ring for a year close to the date, right? So if it's March 30th, he would have been out the ring for a year, exactly a year. And this is not due to Errol Spence's not willing to be in the ring or not living a life, fighter's lifestyle and not in shape. This has everything to do with finances and pushback. Errol Spence, I believe, is being pushed back because he forced that fight with Terrence Bud Crawford when the powers that be with the premier Boston champion, founding advisor Al Heyman and Showtime, Showtime president of sports Steven Espinosa didn't want to make that fight. They didn't want to concede to Terrence Crawford. They didn't want to give Terrence Crawford what he was asking for. And Errol Spence, he pushed for it. And he even sacrificed to make the fight happen. And now it happened. And it seems like Errol Spence, who once was the cash cow with the PBC, he did the biggest pay-per-view numbers over there, not named Canelo Alvarez, bigger than Javante Tank Davis. All his pay-per-views outside of the Ryan Garcia fight with Tank Davis, Errol Spence has the bigger pay-per-view numbers. 350,000 pay-per-view buys with Mikey Garcia, 325,000 pay-per-view buys with Sean Porter, 315,000 pay-per-view buys with Danny Garcia. And it said that 300 or plus thousand with your Dana Sugis. Tank Davis highest pay-per-view without Ryan Garcia is 250,000 pay-per-view buys, which means Errol's who cash cow there, but he suffered the car accident. That was a major setback. He was out the ring. Then he suffered an eye injury. Didn't even know how he was going to come back ahead of the Manny Pacquiao fight, which was scheduled for August of 2021. And he got that eye injury had to have corrective eye surgery and it's just been setback after setback. And then he got the Terrence Crawford fight against their will and against their wishes. And we saw what happened in the Crawford fight.